head tilting gear replacement. This is a video on how to replace the gear that actually rotates the head on a milling machine. It is also known as the quill housing adjustment, adjustment gear, the tilting worm, and the head tilting gear. This video is a collaboration between me, Raymond Gallant, and Andrew Spencer. Let the repairs begin. First we need to rotate the head 180 degrees, then unlock the lock nuts and use the adjusting worm shaft to rotate the head. So uh, what I want to do is I want to replace this, uh, this rack here. And um, what I need to do is I need to separate the head of the mill from the columns uh, from the uh, the uh, boom actually so uh, what I've done is I've turned the head upside down and I've steadied it on the table on the knee and uh, I've taken off the uh, the nuts the locking nuts and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to retract the boom and I'm going to expose the uh, gear that needs to be replaced Now what you can see is I have access to this gear now for the repair. Okay, so the problem with this uh, this repair here, or with the damage of this repair, is that I have a um, uh, uh, a gear. It's basically a radial rack, and I have a pinion gear, and they they lock in together, and this is to adjust the head to zero, and if the students don't unlock the locking nuts and then they force the uh, the worm gear then they actually break off the teeth of the uh, this gear so then you can't adjust the the head of the machine to zero so what I have to do now is I have to separate the head from the boom and replace the the damaged gear on the end of the uh, boom so this is the worm. The worm is on a, a shaft and you make the adjustment by uh, turning this hex and then that climbs, that climbs this gear here back and forth so you can micro adjust your, your, the, vertic the verticalness of your spindle. But with the, the gear damaged here, there's way too much backlash in the head so you can't actually dial it in for, for straightness. So what I've done is I've rotated the head and I supported it on the table and then I've retracted the boom and I've rotated the boom a few degrees, um, actually 27 degrees. Uh, I've rotated the boom so I have access to this gear. Now my plan now is uh, this gear has two fastening uh, socket head cap screws and a dowel pin uh, at the bottom to, uh, to keep it in position and what I do is I transfer the uh, the dowel pin uh, to the top and then I just rotate the gear 180 degrees so I can get a second life out of the gear. The problem with this gear is that the, uh, the teeth are broken off and our little pinion gear rides in this area and if the students try to adjust the machine without unlocking the uh, lock nuts it actually breaks the teeth off this gear. So uh, you can see the damage here. If I rotate this gear 180 degrees, I can get into some nice new fresh teeth without actually having to replace the gear. Okay, let's recap. The replacement of the head tilting gear is 100% avoidable if 
we loosen the lock nuts that hold the head before putting a wrench on the worm adjusting gear. Never loosen them completely, always leave them slightly snugged, but not tight. Hey, if you want to see other great videos on machining, check out the YouTube channel Shop and Math. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And the biggest thank you goes out to Andrew Spencer. He was the star of the video. Hats off, you did an excellent job. And thank you for watching. Have a great night.